Hey everybody, it's Dan Davidson here from Edmonton. We are at Boots and Hearts 2023 with Hidden Beats. Awesome. So, what's your favorite part about the festival so far? I'm honestly just kind of rolled in and uh, I haven't really walked around too much, but like the way it's set up is brilliant for artists. I had the catering, I can tell you that much. It's catering, 10 out of 10. I had <laughs> nice. the trout, I recommend it. I mean, we're not allowed back there, so we don't know about <laughs> any of that stuff. All right, well, take my word for it. It's okay. <laughs> what's what's your thoughts on the country music community as a whole? Uh, I love it in Canada. I, I feel like it's it's small town enough. Like it's it's so big and busy, and there's a, a, amazing people in this industry. But at the same time, I think that everybody who's doing it at a professional level, we kind of have this mutual respect thing going on, which really pulls the community together, and it feels very small town. And it's always such a treat when we get to do festivals like this and run into each other backstage. It's like high school reunion. Mm -hmm, exactly. Now you have some new music that you just released, new single, like He Met a Girl, I think. Yeah, He Met a Girl recently came out. Uh, it's going to radio very soon. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. The song's kind of like a, a bright, nostalgic, kind of 80s feeling thing wrapped around country music. And uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's about the moment where everything changes for, in this case, a guy. But uh, it can't, it, the, the the writing came from an interesting place. It was a co-writer of mine went on a stag party and okay. one of the dudes from the stag didn't come back to the hotel that night. And somebody was like, hey, where'd Johnny go? And somebody else said, uh, yeah, he met a girl. And we were like, ah, oh, that's so perfect. So we kind of jumped on that. We thought it was so awesome that A, he didn't have to explain anything and, and <laughs> B, just it, it explained everything at the same time. So For sure. we wrote a country song around that and it became kind of a nice summary jam for me. What uh, what can fans expect for your your performance? Like I don't do anything slow or anything soft. It's all party time, and uh, you know I think you write what you know and you write who you are, and that's that's what I like to do. I don't really take myself too seriously. And, mm -hmm. yeah, I always make it my personal mission to make sure everybody's you know nice and primed up for the headliners. Nice. Now my favorite question I've asked everyone since I've been interviewing: What's one thing you think should be asked more in an interview that's not asked enough? Oh wow. I don't know. <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> that question is the question that should be asked more. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I find like the, the, the things that I normally get asked is, uh, you know, tell me where this song came from and all that, that kind of stuff. So it's it's interesting when people ask about your your history before country music, I find. Okay. Uh, especially for, you know, obviously no one at 20 years old has a history before country music, but I've been around, I've done, this is my second kick at the can. You know, I had a, a whole career in rock music before and I always say that I'm one of the lucky ones that lightning struck twice for in the Canadian country music industry. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you hope fans take away from your music? Um, the, my, well, I guess my favorite things about country music is, is the fact that it's a great connector. Like it's, there's, it has a way of bringing people together and making people just feel like they're part of something. And uh, so that's what I hope they take away from our show tonight. And what do you do to stay grounded outside of the music world? I have a wife. That does it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm a dad and, and I'm married. And so like my, as fun as this stuff is, where you get to kind of be a rock star for a minute. When I, when I go home, I'm still tying skates and mowing the lawn and doing all that stuff. So that has a way of uh, balancing things. For sure. And final question, what motivates you to keep going? Uh, it's, you know, honestly, it's like the only thing I, I've ever wanted to do. It's, it's my f favorite thing. Like I get to travel the world and play music with my friends. If I can make that a job, I feel like I've hacked the system a little bit. So Right, that's the best way. Yeah. That's all I got. Awesome, man.